Rainbow Sudoku start with hints that are both numbers and colors. The result after you complete it is a canvas full with hexominoes and numbers. Each hexomino must have exactly one of each number one through six. This fails because the pink, for example, has two twos. This also fails because this row does not have the number six in it. So you have to have the numbers one through six in each row and each column and each shape. You also have to follow rules for the shapes. So is this an acceptable solution for just the shapes? Forget about the numbers for a second. Uh, no, because this shape is not a hexomino. This shape uh, is connected only at one point, that, that square at the top. What about this? Well, this is a new rule for rainbow Sudoku, and that is that you can't have duplicate shapes. So these two shapes, you can rotate and flip them, and you can see that they're actually the same shape. So this, uh, this doesn't work. Okay, so let's start off with this puzzle. We're going to solve it. In the real world, whenever you pick up a Sudoku book, you expect there to be exactly one answer. We want to get rid of that bad habit in the math classroom. Sometimes, whenever you give puzzles to kids, there's going to be multiple different answers. Sometimes, they're going to be impossible to solve. This is a richness that needs to be in the math classroom, unlike in the real world, where people want, for whatever reason, they just want to have a single answer to everything. We, I will tell you right now, this puzzle either is impossible to solve or has two or three solutions. So I've given you three different options. Uh, let's see which one turns out to be true. Let's start by looking up here. Could this be red? So think for a second. So hexomino means that each region has to have exactly six squares, and they have to be connected. And there's no way to connect these all if this is red. So this can't be red, it has to be pink. And because they're connected, then this has to be pink. We can do the same kind of argument for here. This would have to be green, and this would have to be green. And we can make the same argument here. This would have to be orange, and this would have to be orange. Okay. Let's look at this. What uh, number goes there? Well, we have 1 and 5 in this column, 2, 4, and 6 in this row, so the only number left is 3, so this has to be 3. Here we have what? We have 3 missing and 4, so it's 3 or 4. And we can do this all the way down the diagonal. We can do it in a variety of places. I'll just do the diagonal for now. And let's see what I want to try now. Oh, I'm going to ask you, the, the, this 2 and 5, could that be, could those belong in pink? Well, for sure not, because we already have a 2 and 5 in pink. That means that uh, pink looks like it's going to be, we have to be, make sure that it has 6 squares in it. So we can only have one of these 4s. So that means that we've right now only got 4, so these must be pink, these 2. Okay, so let's make those pink. There we go. Okay, what about this? What, uh, what goes in here? Well, you can see that um, this has to be a 1, 3, or 6. We're going to get the 4s from here. So we know that this is going to be a 1, 3, or 6. But can it be... Can this one be a 3? No, because... It's, uh, there's a 3 in this color. Can this be a 3? No, because there's 3 in this row. So the only place that pink can have a 3 is right here. So it has to be a 3. That means this is 1 to 6, and this is 1 to 6. 1 or 6. Okay, what are we going to do now? Um, let's look at... Let's look at the 3s. So. You notice how many threes we have? We've got quite a few threes. And that would mean that the last two threes have to go either here or here. But this is already a one, so we know it has to be here. So we have two threes. So we know where all the threes are. That's great news. Um, which, oh, that means that this can't be a three. It has to be a four. How, which, I've got an idea. What? three must be part of the red region. 
Well, red certainly can't get down to this three, so this has to be red. And which region controls this three? Well, it has to be the dark blue region. That's clear. Now, tell me about uh, this here. What color is that? Well, of course, these two turquoises have to be connected, so we have that. What number goes in here? Well, that has to be a two. It's the only number left in the row. And that means that the blue two and six below that, that has to be a six. And that means that the four and six in this uh, blue region, that has to be a four. Okay. Um, this would have to be a one because now there's a six in that column, which means this has to be a six. Okay. Right. Let's do that. And then that means that this has to be a six. Okay. What about this? Well, the only two numbers left in this row are one and two, but the two can't go here because there's a two underneath. So this has to be a two, and this would have to be a one. Okay, what can we do now? Let's look at that. We can change that. What about that? What color is that? Well, uh, this is the only way that turquoise can get a six. So this has to be turquoise. Okay, that means that by connectivity, this has to be red and this has to be red. That means we've got this shape completed. We've completed our first red shape. This is completed. There's six squares in this. That means that this here can't be red. It must be pink. And that means that this has to be dark blue or green. Oh, but the dark blue already has a four, so this is green. Okay, now this would have to be a two. And what about this? What color is this? Well, this is the only one that dark blue can reach, so this has to be dark blue. Okay, then this, well, this has to be a five or a six based on the column, but this can't be a six because red already has a six. So this has to be a six, and this has to be a five. Okay, that means this is a one. Okay, and down here, in this row here, we have a five here and a four here. So we're complete the numbering. Now it's just a matter of filling in everything. Okay, so this here is the only four that orange can reach, so this has to be orange, orange. We're completed the orange shape. Now we have some choices to make. Uh, let's look at this. Could this be turquoise? So think about it for 10 seconds. Mm, time's up. Okay, I lied. It wasn't 10 seconds. Uh, no, this doesn't work because, look, if you do that, these two are the same shape. So we can't have that. That's not allowed. So this has to be either green, in which case we this is the solution, or it is blue, in which case this is the solution. So two different solutions to this puzzle. You can go on to Math Pickle. The link is down below to find PDF puzzle sheets that you can print up for your classroom. You can also send me your own puzzles or puzzles that your class has made and I will give you credit for them on Math Pickle. Take care. If you like Math Pickle, please find someone to help support me. That can best be done on Patreon. The link is down below.